Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm Ultric Vox, and as we close out February, we finally have the brand new episode titles for Steve Universe Future, at least for the first two weeks of March. So, half of the month. While descriptions were included with this information as it was pulled from Zap to it, and likely to build anticipation and avoid any potential spoilers, Cartoon Network is holding back a press release for March premieres. So, until we get more information, this is what we have to work with. But honestly, with all of the information we already have, that is no issue. So let's run through these episode titles, speculate, and try to figure out what's to come for the climax of Steven Universe Future. Of course, spoiler warning, if you do not want to know any potential plot beats and spoilers, please click off now. With all that said, let's dive in. The first installment on March 6, 2020 is the episode In Dreams, which, from that title alone, I think we can figure out a lot of the more strange and ambiguous scenes featured in the trailer for these final few episodes. Steven's house suddenly having a trap door, Steven falling away from his house as it soars into the night sky, likely that snippet of him covering his ears as if he's in pain. A lot of these fragments that may not necessarily fit into a perfect theory could all be anchored to these 11 minutes. Now I think this episode may be a calm before the storm, one of those episodes that don't necessarily go into the final consistent arc of Steven Universe, but rather sets up the events to come. What will Steven find in his dreams? Is he trying to get to the bottom of his feelings trying to figure himself out? Is he trying to lucid dream for a particular reason, but it keeps falling apart? Does he end up stumbling into another one of his mother's memories? Is his pink transformation slipping into his dreams now? Will he potentially find a reflection of his corrupted self within his mind? We know how integral Steven's mind powers have been in the past, so I don't think this will be an episode to overlook. I think this has the potential to be huge. And following in dreams on the same night is an episode titled Bismuth Casual. Now going off that title, again, I'm not really expecting to anything crazy plot-wise that pertains exclusively to Steven. I think first and foremost, the intent of this episode will be to give Bismuth the spotlight one final time. Not that she won't ever be seen again, but one of the aspects to Steven Universe Future is that we are getting closure and expansion upon things that Rebecca Sugar wanted to touch on in the original series, but had no time as they were rushed towards the end. Bismuth is a character who definitely could have had a bigger role, so much like how Volleyball advanced Steven's arc, but was more so a love letter to Pink Pearl and those curious about her story, I think Bismuth Casual will be in the same vein. Bismuth has some sort of conflict and Steven wants to fix it. Now, if I did have to make a guess though, tracking all the way back to the theory that's some from Bluebird, that Aquamarine's demands were slowly going to unfold, Steven bubbling his friends in low graduation, and Cactus Steven partially destroying his home in Prickly Pear, since we know Bismuth currently resides in Little Homeworld, this episode could be the one that somehow results in Little Homeworld being set ablaze. Something that's likely an unintentional move on Steven's end, but it breaks everyone's hearts all the same. But at the same time, Bismuth Casual is obviously a play on the term Business Casual, which in terms of appearance could give us some solid confirmation on Bismuth's current form, although according to a member of the Crewniverse, she just got poofed during construction of Little Homeworld. But still, an acknowledgement in the show would be awesome. However, perhaps this business in question could pertain to Era 3. Maybe Bismuth has some sort of proposal to Homeworld, Something that could somehow benefit life for all gems across the galaxy. Bismuth is an inventor after all. Maybe it's a new device. Whatever the case may be, I love Bismuth, and I'm definitely excited she has some time to shine. The following week, however, oh boy, things are going to start heating up. As on March 13th, we have Together Forever, which we can quickly deduce will be the episode that results in Steven and Connie sort of hitting a rough patch. And it's cruel. Crewniverse, this is sick. Season 1, we had Alone Together, the birth of Stevani, so obviously it was a huge Stephen and Connie episode. Then, in Season 5, what kicks off the climax of the original series, we had Together Alone. Obviously a crucial episode of the Diamond Days arc that had a lot going on, but what completely changed the mood of the entire ball was none other than Stephen and Connie dancing as they unintentionally fused into Stevani. So with Together Forever, oh. Oh, no, God, this hurts. That's 
hearts. We already know from the promo from the destroyed picnic scene that something unfortunate is going to happen to Steven and Connie. I've suggested in the past perhaps Steven would suggest being Stevani forever. And I recently suggested Stevani could actually appear in what would be this episode, facing off against none other than Bluebird Azorite. And well, I still feel pretty confident in this theory. And I'll admit, a lot of that does have to do with the fact that this episode does have Together in the title. And I will acknowledge that Stevani has had appearances outside of Alone Together and Together Alone. Steven and Connie have had episodes focused on them and their relationship that didn't feature Stevani. But I don't want to really sound like a broken record, so please, if you haven't already, I would just check out those two aforementioned videos. I'll throw up one on the info card and one on the end screen. So let's move on to the last title we have at this moment. Not the last episode of Future, just the episode that will accompany together forever. And that's Growing Pains. <laughs> oh man. Just by that title, of course anybody supporting the Corrupted Steven theory, including me, would get immensely excited. Not because we want to see Steven agonizing in pain, but after a certain point, when you have months and months of people discussing a theory and the theory only growing, and the narrative of the show itself leans more into it, you definitely would just want the band-aid ripped off. So perhaps this episode will be the start and a chain of events that directly result in the corruption of Steven Universe. I mean, come on, growing pains, corruption, he he'd grow in size into that giant thing. We see his powers grow even stronger in the trailer, which on that note, I do think the climax of this episode will be the big confrontation between Steven and the gems as seen in the trailer. Steven cracking glass and mugs, shouting, leave me alone, and just generally having a bad time as the gems are trying to talk to him. I think they'll catch wind of everything that's occurred up to this point. Whatever incident that brings him to the hospital could be the opening of this episode. Like we open with that, Steven deals with everything, confront the fact that he's a traumatized child, but but when he returns home, the gems are ready to put him in a corner and try to pry out of him what's going on. I believe everything in these next few episodes can worry the gems more and more until the situation just explodes. And this episode could end with Steven running away from his family, leaving the beach house behind. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? All these episode titles, what speculations do you have pertaining to the final episodes of Steven Universe Future, or at least the first four of the final 10. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at Rontable Vids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Optric Vox. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Janky Bones for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of their amazing art, you can find them on Tumblr at Janky Bones, Twitter and Instagram at Bone Janky, and subscribe to their YouTube channel. Link in the description. Help the Rontable Girl by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Fox, signing out.